We have a close eye on our city here this afternoon. We always do, but especially this afternoon because beginning here in about an hour and a half at six o'clock, part of Broadway will be closed to traffic and part in part this area right here near 4th Avenue. Pedestrians will only be allowed between 4th and 5th Avenue to walk. Mayor John Cooper says he has approval from TDOT to close this area to promote social distancing, so no cars in that area after 6. Says it will likely continue until the end of the month and will last until 11 tonight. And something I was looking for in that live shot right there are those transportainment vehicles because we usually see them all over downtown Nashville. Well, tonight, one company is asking Metro to please be clear and consistent with the rules, which just keep changing. News 4's Nancy Amons brings the concerns to the mayor. Party buses like these have until recently been full of party goers. But Metro's current rule is no more than 10 on board, no matter what your normal capacity is. We could carry a, minimum, a maximum of 20 and still social distancing. The owners of Big Green Tractor invited us on board to make the point they can safely hold more and the 10 person rule is costing them business. We get parties of bachelorettes who come to Nashville. It's not four or five. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's 15. Sometimes I've seen up to 25 in a bachelorette party. They want to know why isn't it safe to have 25 people on an outdoor bus if you can have 25 people indoors at a bar. So I brought their question to the mayor. We are always, I know the health department is always willing to work with any business in the county on what is an effective social distancing strategy for that business. The mayor going on to say he would encourage them to reach out. The rules do keep changing. First, party buses were allowed, then banned, then allowed without alcohol. The number of people on board, not always very precise. Law enforcement says we can stand up, we can sit down. They don't know. We just want a true, actual what we can do. We don't want to hurt Metro, we want to help downtown. They want the city to remember they're bringing business to Nashville. Nancy Ammons, News 4 Nashville.